was a nice little warm up, a mile and a half on the treadmill. Yesterday was leg day, so I'm feeling a little fatigued below the waist. That's to be expected, so I'm not going to push that distance any further than a mile and a half. I'm going to grab some resistance band training and then see what I can do with this hand on, uh, I guess this is injury day number four now. I gotta go through a series of daily resistance band exercises that helps me continually rehab a couple of bum shoulders. Also builds core strength, gets you warmed up for the big part of the workout still to come. Been a humbling experience so far. My wrist is feeling better, and as I mentioned earlier, I can move it a whole lot better. But honestly, there's still not a whole lot I can do with it. There's very little grip strength, and it hurts to try and do most of the exercises that I've tried so far. So uh, again, we're focusing on core work and cardio, I guess, today. Exercise doesn't always have to be hard work. Sometimes it feels good just to stretch and see what your body needs. Even though I can't really grip with my hand, this machine gives me a fighting chance. The issue that I'm having with my uh, with my hand right now isn't so much pain as it is um, weakness and numbness. I think there's some nerve damage, but I can already tell that it's gotten way better over the last couple of days. But uh, given those things and my limitations here at the gym, perhaps the most important exercise I could do is just to sit here for a while and play with my ball. To be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed I couldn't do more today, so I'm taking a couple of uh, extra laps around the indoor track. In the sauna now, I'm gonna try and get a nice little sweat after uh, today's workout. It was better than our previous hardcore fitness workout, I have to admit, but uh, I'm just a little discouraged because of the hand. Um, anyway, I'm gonna sit in the sauna for a while. I'm gonna sweat balls and squeeze balls, try and get some feeling back in this thing. I guess a touch of perspective, it's easy to get mad or disappointed in yourself when you can't do what you did last week. But honestly, that's, uh, that's the way fitness is. You have ups and downs and roadblocks and adversity as we discussed in the last episode. So instead of being upset that I can't do what I was doing two weeks ago because of this injury, I'm gonna try and be uh, thankful and positive about the fact that I can do so much more today than I did two days ago. Imagine what I can do in another two days. Let's make some progress. Best shape of my life and I'm rolling a ball on my lap for exercise. <laughs>